In the next few videos, we're going to review several uh, statistical concepts. So to do this, we're going to use the t-test simulation spreadsheet. And uh, if you'll go to that, you'll notice this spreadsheet has three tabs, group one, group two, group three, a t-test tab. Now, group one is a, a spreadsheet that is a random, uh, it's, it's, we select numbers from a random normal distribution. This, this distribution has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And we're, we have done this with these uh, values. You can see we go down here from, uh, we've created basically a thousand rows and each row has 10 numbers each. And I got these random numbers from uh, going into the, uh, the, the data analysis pack and picking the random distribution. Some of you have that, some of you don't. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can just use these numbers that are already generated. You can see they're constants. They're already numbers that are in here. And they, they range from negative infinity to plus infinity. Of course, not really they get that low, but here's a pretty low number, minus 3. That means it's three standard deviations out from normal. That's a pretty small number. But uh, we're simulating taking a sample. Now, we usually do this in R. We're doing it in Excel, so you can see things a little bit uh, more in a drill down mode. So if we were going to do an experiment, we would run 10 subjects. And for group one, we would look at 10 randomly assigned subjects. And we would perhaps only get data from row one. Just for example, this is a random sample of subjects. We got that. If we were to conduct this, this study a thousand times, we would get perhaps this many different rows. And what the study is doesn't really matter. It's just these are, this is just a, a bunch of numbers. There's a count. Notice we have count function up here. There is the mean of this distribution. That's the average. And this distribution has a standard deviation of 1.2. Now remember, we have randomly sampled from a distribution that has uh, a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. But you can see we didn't exactly get that. We got a mean of minus 0.023 and a standard deviation of 1.2. If we look at our thousand distributions, uh, thousand samples, that's, oops, wrong way. Um, a thousand samples. This is going all the way down to the thousand, and our mean is 0 0.011, close to zero. And the standard deviation of that is 0.98, also um, pretty close to one. Um, all right, and for each of the columns, they're also close to having a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Now, uh, what we have done in our t-test uh, tab is this number right here is referencing our group one B10. So if we click on this, uh, this refers to tab group one observation B10. Observation B10 on tab group one. Now we're looking at, uh, we have punched in up here a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 16. So we're going to convert our standard normal distribution to a, a new set of values 
that have a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 16. And so our first sample, we take that mean from our first, our, uh, our, our group one, first row, multiply it times B5, which is the standard deviation of 16, and we add the mean of 100. So we get, because our first value is a negative number, we get a, uh, a mean of 99.6. So when we convert using our standard score conversion, we convert back, given a, a mean and standard deviation and a, a random variable, we get a score of 99.6. It's, it's a similar thing like when we're looking at the confidence interval and we multiply times uh, the t value. Well, here we're multiplying times our random normal variate, which is basically sampling from a distribution. I hope this is understandable. This is a little confusing, but um, think about it for a little bit and also ask questions in class. So we're doing the same thing with the standard deviation. Now we're just multiplying the uh, random normal variant times the uh, um, times the standard deviation. We're just dropping the mean, and we're getting the estimate for group one of the mean. So in our group one, we have our values at zero and one, and um, uh, we're sampling from a population of 0, 1, and then we're converting it to a sample, all those numbers, all those means and standard deviations that we get from group 1, these means and these standard deviations, with an n of 10, we're converting to uh, new means with a mean of 100, and a standard deviation of 16. Again, in this simulation, we're simulating a study. If we were going to do the study, we would only do it once. But for purposes of showing you how statistics works, we have done this sample a thousand times. In R, we can do 10,000 times or whatever and just be a lot more freer and a lot more flexible. But here, we're going to look at things. Our, our approximations won't be quite as good as they will be in R because our sample is only a thousand and not ten thousand or a hundred thousand. So you'll you'll get an idea from this. Any event, think about that and how we get there and look at the spreadsheet, check out the formulas and see where we get the numbers.